In this video, we're going to look at treat graphs of the form y equals sine brackets x plus d or y equals cos brackets x plus d. Now, the d, which is inside the bracket, shifts the curve left or right. Okay, it doesn't change the shape of the curve. Now, if d is positive, it shifts it to the left. If d is negative, it shifts it to the right. So let's go about drawing some of these. So we've got y equals cos x minus 30. So draw your axes. Draw the normal curve. So in this case, let's draw cos x. Now we draw the shifted curve. So we've got here negative 30. This means it's moving to the right by 30. So every point is 30 along. So where it used to have its maximum at 0, that's now going to be 30 along. So it's going to be at 30. Uh, where it used to have its x-intercept at 90, that's now 30 along, so that's 120. Uh, where it used to have its other intercept at 270, that's now 300. Where it had its minimum point 180, that's now 30 along, that's 210. And you can obviously work that for every point. And then I would join up all of those key points, and you would make this purple line here. And what you'll see is that this purple line is 30 degrees to the left at every point. And again, I would just finish off by labeling the curve. So that's cos x minus 30, and that's the one we want. Okay, here's our second graph, three sine brackets x plus 45. So draw the axes, draw the normal curve. Well, this time it's a sine and it's three sine x. So once you draw it, remember to make it go from uh, 3 down to negative 3. That's the only bit that changed with 3 uh, in front of the sine x. Now, plus 45, well, that means it's going to, every point is going to move to the left by 45 uh, degrees. So if I just get a pen here, while its maximum is normally at 90, that's now going to be at 45. Uh, while it was at 180, where it crosses the x-axis, now 135. Minimum at 270, well, that's now 225. Uh, X-intercept at 360 is now 315. So we've got a few points that you can now trace your curve over, and that will be my black line once it comes across. And as you can see, this is that every point has now been shifted back by 45 degrees. Now, finally, let's just label the one we want. Y equals 3 sine x plus 40. 